So last time I was here, guess what, guess what you were doing? We had the engine out. We test ran the engine. Now that it's, the engine is fine, we got it built inside the fuselage. Uh, a lot of stuff I had to do to get inside the fuselage. I'm going to explain what I had to do to get it in actual, prior to putting it in here. Um, it's kind of like, one, one of the things I, I did, I did for the alignment, everything must be 90 degree. You want to be 90 degree level. Oh yeah, when you, when you hook up the servo. Um, one trick I found out, we use servos, four servos. I'm using 9202 uh, Futabas. Sorry, 9206. Um, I got this little gadget over in um, Hong Kong, actually. It's a servo centering device. Save you a lot of time and headache. Basically what you do, plug your servo in, you, you take up the three servos. Um, you do three, two, one at a time, doesn't really matter. You plug your four point volt battery on, this, on the power side. But what it's going to do, it's going to center the servo for you. That's center. And you can test the range motion. What is, the reason you want to do this before, before putting it in on the helicopter is center all your servos so they're 90 degrees center. Save you a lot of time and headache. Because your pitch wires must line up perpendicular to each other. So this is an inexpensive device, but it's going to save you about a couple hours worth of work. Nice. Uh, the other thing. Once you get your servos in, you put your, your, your pitch rods on, okay? What was that? Pitch rods? The pitch rods. This is a pitch rod. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, these, these actually hook to your servos, actually control the swatch plate. Right. Very, very critical moment here. Two things you're going to need. You're going to need a ruler, measuring ruler. This is a small version, this is a large version. This is a hard ruler. One thing about these rulers here, they're very accurate, but when you get to a point where you, you need to bend, it's hard to get in there to, to get a measurement. So what I did, I took a piece of paper, I photographed this on a copy machine, I made a copy a piece of paper out of it. So you say, why do you do that? Because what happens when you get in a small area, you actually the paper will bend where this ruler doesn't bend. Right. And you, you want to do curve measurements, you could also put the paper here, and you can do exact curve measurements. How long did it uh, take you to come up with that? A couple, couple seconds. It made about four no, 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 what I'm saying to you is uh, to come up with that idea, how long it took you? Uh, it took me about a year and a half to figure this out. Just use a paper, very simple. No one told, no one told you this? No, no. I had to figure out a way to measure around curves and that it was a good idea to come up with this. So basically you, you know, you take the straight line and bend it. Right, straight line. A lot of helicopters got curves, but when you build a helicopter, you must be accurate on both sides, left and right side, accurate measurement. It's hard to do that with a straight ruler because the ruler doesn't bend. This paper bends, you get Good measurement on both sides, within you know a, a, a centimeter, which is pretty good. You want to be close as possible. The other thing, when you when you're hooking up your ball links from your swatch plate to your servo, what I use I use Luthen grease. Okay, you get that any house hobby store. I mean, Home Depot, Lowe's, whichever. Let me see. Let me see that again. Luthen grease. Swatch Luthen grease. Okay. Okay. Got it's it. good for your bearings. Um, Normally what I do, I put them on the ball joints, on the, on the, on the rod. Okay, what I normally do, take one end off, put a lid here, and I screw the plastic back on. Just a little bit. The reason you want to do it is because when, you, when you're actually adjusting these, because nobody do it right the first time, okay, and actually screwing it in, it tends, tends to get hot from friction. When it get hot, it softens the plastic. But the loose ingredient is keep it lubricated, it makes it going a lot easier and easier to turn. This it's just adding in, in, in your setup when you set it up. It makes it a lot easier. How often do you have to lubricate those parts in the helicopter anyways? If you use loose ingredient, it lasts for years. That's why I like this grease here. It, it doesn't come off as easy. I mean it just you know you know, this certain area, every part doesn't really need it. Move away metal to metal or waste a lot of movement, you want to put some, some type of lubricant. If you're not happy with losing, use any kind of lubricant. As long as you have some type of lubricant there that can keep the parts moving freely. The other thing you want to use, you want to use a, a pitch a pitch gauge. I mean a pitch rod. This actually what this does, if you get one side set, which these blades at negative, they're minus two degrees. So once you pitch a pitch rod, you get it at minus two degrees, you can actually measure it on this rod here. Like, like so. And you do the other four rods the same, exactly within within two centimeters of each other. So you get it really close. 
That's another aid and tool that can help you out. Pitch gauge. This is a pitch gauge. What I did, this is a miniature aircraft pitch gauge. What I did, I went to Home Depot, $3 for 11, I put a level on here mm -hmm. on the top. So that way when I'm when I do, do the pitch, I can see where the, when the blades are level. So it's easy, add and set up, make it more precise, more precision. Okay? Also, you want to get a hand level too. Okay? So it's a hand ball level. Same thing, get a Home Depot or Lowe's. When you uh, put your wood set in, you want to make sure everything straight and level. You can put this on your wood set. Just make sure everything nice, level, and plump. We do want everything is level in a helicopter because so many moving parts. The less vibration, the better for the helicopter. So everything right. is level and smooth. Machine gonna really fly really nice. So do this in the beginning. It's it's a not really a lot of time consuming. Just taking your time building. So when you do get the machine finished, you're gonna have a nice smooth running machine.